evening. I have been down a rabbit hole today. And it's a rabbit hole that I didn't even know existed. Now, with YouTube, watch a lot of YouTube, you watch, see a lot of the internet, you, you read Twitter, you read Facebook, bar the bar. You're led to believe that America is the freest country in the world. All the bang on about is freedom. And from what you can see in movies and such, you kind of believe it. But what they don't show you is the background. And besides little things, which have always got me, like you're not allowed to drink alcohol while you're walking down a street or in public, is just ridiculous. You have to put a, a, a can in a brown bag. What's that <laughs> all about? You can't cross roads. It's called jaywalking, apparently. Little things like that. You, you know, they get tickets for all this stuff. That's freedom for you. Um, but then I came across this thing. Um, and I watched one video on YouTube about this thing called HOA. What's a HOA? Never heard of it before. It sounds crazy. So I watched one video. And a HOA is basically a group of people that set up a community within and basically on an estate kind of thing. And it's a group of people that set up a community and then they set up a load of rules and you have to pay every month a certain amount towards this council, if you like. If you want to call it like a council of this HOA, and you pay a certain amount, and they set up or set these rules um, apparently to keep their part of the area nice. Now that sounds like a good idea, but it is not what you think it is. Now, when I hear that Americans. <laughs> A free. This is not what I thought it was. The HOAs in America are very, very serious people. They're very serious. They ain't no messing about. And when they set these rules, what they don't tell you, or Americans don't tell you, is uh, these people can fine you. And they fine you for things that you do in normal life. I.e. Parking your truck outside your house on your driveway. Well, that's a £1,500 $1, fine. In certain areas. You need permits from the HOA for your guests to park. Otherwise, they'll clamp them. And then you have to pay to have the clamps removed. Parking a car on your drive for a certain long amount of time without using it. Leaving the leaving your bins out, putting your bins out at the wrong time. Painting your house the wrong colour. Just having your grass more than a, I think it's a three, more than two inches I think it was. From what I saw today. The reason I say that is I watched one HOA video and I thought, what? And it led me down a rabbit hole of videos to do with this American culture of a HOA. Jesus Lord, that is not freedom. They are Nazis. And I mean really, really bad. It all, after all the videos I watched, it ended up leading me to this one video of a woman who bought a house it had an HOA they she she moved out and put and um, let a tenant move in which was perfectly fine tenant paid the owner the rent the the tenant or the owner got a fine for something 
that had happened within her property. I don't know, a pebble had rolled off the drive or something. And the HOA find her. Now the owner said, oh, oh, I'm not interested, I'm not paying it. Well, she wanted to pay it, but they wouldn't let her pay it, apparently. She went round to try and sort it out, but the, the, the leader of the HOA, who is called, um, I don't know, let's just call him German guy, <laughs> uh, wouldn't allow her to pay. So what happened is this £2,500, she'd had loads of different special assessments. They go in your bins and stuff and see what you're throwing out. So that was really, really bad. And they do it all over America, by the way. And the the HOA fined them $2,500 for the number of grievances. And they took her to court the $2,500 put a lien on her house a house that cost more than a million dollars evicted her tenants and then put their own tenants in the house <laughs> and they had to pay the rent to the HOA all legal apparently but the woman now has no house because the HOA have literally took over. And this isn't the only the only time this happened. Apparently these these HOA people take people's houses quite regularly. Wow. So when Americans talk about freedom, after what I've seen today, that is just freedom is not being able to swear at police officers and owning a gun I just thought you see as a Brit guns don't mean anything to me I wouldn't even if they were legal I just wouldn't want to own one I have no interest in carrying a gun or holding a gun just not it just doesn't interest me at all so Americans go on about freedom but sometimes I think they live in a bubble a delusional bubble that they think they're actually free you don't realise they've got more laws than any other country in the whole entire world. They literally have. They break the law every time they do anything. They're taxed more than any other human on the planet. Literally taxed more than any other humans on the planet. Remember they started, started in it a war of independence over a 1% tax on some tea. Tea! They tell us they don't even drink. But they started a war over it. I mean, come on now, make your mind up. And now they're taxed more than anybody. But they have representation, do they, really? All oh, that's bought and paid for. But what got me today was just the HOA stuff. That is... I do not know what how people live within that. Within that kind of system. That, that isn't freedom. So if you like this video, give us a like. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one.